picture. I'm trying a different format this time, as you can see. Um, I'm not in front of the camera because I'm going through my stash. It's really unorganized. Um, it's thrown into various boxes and bins, um, literally around my house. I'm trying to get my craft room organized and I'm doing pretty well. So I want to get my patterns organized some way. My floss, I'm not going to show because nobody needs to sit here and watch me wind DMC cards. <laughs> I don't think. Um, and so I thought I would just go through my patterns and have you guys join me if you're interested. Um, what do I have to say about not much really? Um, I had sort of semi-organized them by designer last year when I did the common threaded, is it common threaded stitcher on Instagram? I mean, you know, after that I just threw them back in doors and boxes. So they may be like a little by designer, but they're going to be pretty unorganized. So I'm going to just pretty much go through them. I'm using my bed. Um, this is my, my bedspread and I'm going to just go through and put them in piles, I think by designer. Um, I debated on whether to use like the subject uh, or season, for example, but I decided I settled on designer unless I don't have more than one of that designer, in which case I guess I would just group them by subject matter. There's plastic involved, so hopefully it won't be too um, glary with the lights. I'm going to start with my Lavender and Lace Spring Fairy, or Spring Lady, sorry, Celtic Lady. That's Spring. I've had that one in my stash for many, many years. Never opened her, so she goes in Lavender and Lace. And this one is Autumn. If I ever stitch her, I really want to do the conversion with the orange and greens and browns. Toss. Hopefully they go in the right pile. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see the full thing, but this is a Stony Creek out in, in the village. And I think I have all the seasons for that. This is summer in the village and see they aren't together like i don't even know what's going to come up this is primrose cottage stitches witchy way oh so i do have one of them in my stash i didn't even realize um but i had actually purchased this for a giveaway last halloween and my dog my puppy decided it looked tasty so it's chewed up but it's still the chart is okay inside so i will end up just keeping that for my own self i guess um yeah, so I will go ahead and put it in a Primrose Cottage pile because I intend to get more of their designs, which are beautiful. This one I love. It's a Teresa Wensler called Companions. Santa with his trusty horse. And this one's out of print. I found this on Etsy a couple years ago. And this one, also a Teresa Wensler, just called Mermaid. I got that one from Kenny Brown um, on Stash and Load, I think, a while ago. Okay, this is Let's Talk Autumn from Hands On Design. This one I've had from way back. Um, this has been in my stash for over 20 years and maybe 25. I have loved this piece and it's one of those ones that I actually think about when I'm stitching other things. Does anyone else do that? Do you like think about patterns that you have in your stash that you can't wait to stitch and how great it's going to look? This is so realistic. It looks like a photograph. Um, and I really would love to have it done. <laughs> um, I was thinking that it was custom crafts because the design of the out the layout is very similar but it actually um, is near North Treasures collection so I don't know if they are affiliated or later became custom crafts but the designer is near North Treasures collection copyright 2001 so again I don't think I have any others from this designer so I would just put this with 
um, I guess animals, like randomly animals. Okay, here's another stack. Some of the Joan Elliott's that I have um, are out of the plastic, and if you've ever gotten a Joan Elliott before, you'll know that they come in plastic and they're a bunch of pages. And I'm pulling out some copy, working copies I have from something else. Um, and so it comes like this with a bunch of pages in plastic, not bound together. So um, I'm trying to hold those together. So this is a Joan Elliott called Christmas Blue Ornaments. And I actually had gotten this to do use as a giveaway years ago, and I did. And then I decided to get a copy for myself because I thought it was so beautiful. I would probably stitch these as separate ornaments, but it's beautiful either way. Oh, they're kind of big, though. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. They're not. I'm looking at the full, full size, and there's some fabric, murky fabric. This is Glendon Place. Poltergeist Pirates. This just came out, was it last year? The year before? It's a fairly recent design. I think it's so cool. It's got some beads and treasure on it. I think these skulls are actually, um, I think you call them treasures, right? Or is it beads? I don't know. So, toss, I've got. Um, this is a lavender and lace. It's Oh Christmas Tree, which I've actually sort of started. Um, and I don't have a picture for it because I bought it off of eBay and it didn't include the picture, but it's an original chart and it was not, it looked like it hadn't been opened when I got it and it claimed to not be open, but I don't think, I mean, I think it must have been open because the picture's gone. So, whoops, see what I mean? So actually that needs to stay out because I'm supposed to be working on that with my friend Melanie. Hi hey, Melanie. I'm sure she's probably like almost done by now. Um, here's another Stony Creek. Merry Christmas Silhouette. This is charted in Variegated Threadworks called Merry Christmas, I think. Oddly enough. Oh, I thought that was really pretty. So there's my Stony Creeks. Push them out of the way. Um, I have a couple of patterns. I'm going to put it... Like, Right there because of the way it's folded. Although, you know what's funny? If I show you this much of the chart, if I show you that, good luck to you if you can stitch a full design with that. Like, hey, more power to you. I'm impressed. Um, I purchased some charts, some dimensions charts off of eBay a while ago. It was not the full kit, but it's the original pattern that someone was selling for a really good price. So I collected those. So those can probably go with my dimensions kits. My dimen most of my kits are, are pretty well organized in baskets. Um, I'm going to put the charts in uh, a filing cabinet, file folders. That's my plan. Here's the first Mirabilia I have to show, which is called Red, which is lovely. I was unable to purchased her recently a few years ago, but it seems recent to me, um, by my friend Nadine from Naz X Stitch. She's got her going and she is just beautiful. I probably wouldn't normally have purchased her based on just seeing her on a website, but hey, that's what floss tube is for, right? Enabling. This is Monticello Stitches. Be nice or leave. I'd like this to be one of my starts this year, probably in a different color scheme but I thought this was cute. Mm, so see, I don't really have a whole lot of Monticello stitches, so I guess I'll just put it with, okay. I do have a couple, but they're PDF printouts and I have those in a binder. Some more Teresa Wensler. This is Fantasy Sampler. Her sampler, they're just stunning. And this is the castle, which is probably her best known design, I think. This one you see everywhere, for good reason. It's pretty cool. Those I had also gotten off of Stash Unload, so 
Where's my Teresa? Okay. So I see Mira's. What do we have? Emerald Mermaid. I forget the name of this one. Where do you find a name? It's like Fairy Moon. No, it's not Fairy Moon. That's a different one. Moonflowers. Love the colors in her. I actually was going to start her a few years ago. She was sent to me as a secret Santa gift uh, exchange that I did a while back. And I love her. And I plan to start her, but I could not make up my mind on the fabric to use. So she got relegated to the stash and I haven't pulled her out since and made a decision. So, And then here's Sleeping Beauty. This is also a very old pattern that I've had for probably 25 years, um, purchased off of eBay when I was starting to collect in my teens. And I know this one is out of print also. Like I said, my dimensions and my Disney dreams are pretty well taken care of as far as organization, but my Mill Hill and various small kits, um, I need to get those organized. This is Mill Hill Buttons and Beads, Buttons and Beads Haunted Mansion from their Autumn series from, I don't know what year that was, but 2011. This is a Dimensions Petite from the Gold Collection called Winter Wolves. Where they get these names, I have no idea. Where do they come up with the name? Do I have a Dimensions pile yet? No. I do now. Um, yes, I do. Put that other one. But I think I'll keep the Petites to themselves. This is one of my Christmas Village buildings that I really want to do. Um, this is the Needle Workshop, which is one of my favorites. As you can see, it's been taken out of the package. Um, whoops, there goes some beads. So I need to figure out where everything went. Um, but yeah, I have been meaning to start these for years and years. My friend Amanda Lucky Chance Stitcher knows. I've been talking to her for quite a while about starting that, um, because she's doing this beautiful piece of a bunch of them, is it 24, stitched together on one huge piece of fabric and it's beautiful. Okay, so I had a train going by, so I was waiting and I took the opportunity to go ahead and add to my pile here and kind of straighten up my other piles. So this is Spring in the Village as part of the Village series from Stone Creek. This one is called Patchwork Village and it's charted by designs by Linda Myers. And so it also says art for the needle. I don't know if that's, yeah, I think the publisher's designs by Linda Myers. It's an old pattern. Um, I found it on Sandra St Stitch Stash. I had never seen it before and it caught my eye as patterns will. And I really like the color scheme of the brown and the blue. I just thought it was very pleasing. And I love buildings. So that goes with the kind of one-off patterns. Glendon Place. This is part of the Amazing Desserts collection. Is this is plum pudding. No, this is baked Alaska. With blues and greens. It's charted in silks. Here's another Glendon Place. Boom. <laughs> Glendon Place. Flowers of the Holy Night. For some reason I have trouble seeing the titles. They're right there on the top. And I've seen this stitched on Dina, the half stitch cross stitch. Um, probably most of you know her. Um, she had stitched this up and it's just stunning. Lots of beads. Um, really pretty. Here's another Christmas Village toy shop from the Mill Hill collection. They put one out, I think, every year to add to the village. There's a lovely Christmas card. Um, 
which I'm keeping. I just need to put it with my cards. This is Christmas Village, which is from my friend Amber, Rogue Mama Stitcher. She sent Christmas time last year, and my daughter has actually started this one. She stitched Christmas Village so far. So this is a soda stitch. So I do have quite a few soda stitch, so um, I'll start a pile for that. See, I still have the wrapping paper and everything. Okay. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Country Cottage Needleworks. Winter. It's their winter sampler. I'd love to have, get one in every um, season. I think they're all delightful. So I do have a few of those, so I'll start a new one for that. Nora Corbett. This is C. Flora. I knew that. And this was a gift to me from my friend Ashley, the Wayward Stitcher here on Floss Tube. And she's just gorgeous. She's in my favorite color. So I've got to decide on a fabric for her and get going on her. And she's just lovely. Sparkly. This one is called Winter Snowfall and it's from Shannon Christine Designs. And she's released a companion piece recently. Get the name of it, something to do with snow. Sorry for the plastic. I'm just not going to take everything out of the plastic. Hopefully you can see it okay. She includes the, um, the col like five different color schemes. Um, if you want to do it in a different color, she makes some suggestions for green, bright purple, red, pink, blueberry, ice blue, purple. And then on the front is the teal. And I've seen it stitched in lots of different color schemes, and they're all just beautiful. <clears throat> I had purchased the DMC Etois. Am I saying that right? Etois, the sparkly um, floss for that, and was disappointed that it was really, it's really more of a, like a 762 kind of um, real light pearl gray. In fact, I did substitute. It, I used that for some 762 that I had in a couple other patterns. Um, so yeah, I need to just use plain white probably for that. And this is Wax Waxing Moon Designs Halloween House Trio. I think that Mary at Mary Stitching Corner has done these. I, if I'm wrong, I'm really sorry. I know she's done um, some Waxing Moon Houses. I think Halloween was some of them. Forgive me if I'm wrong. That one will go in my random pile, but I will have more of those eventually. Here's a Stone and Creek that I recently got called Woodland Santa. This is a adorable. It's fun to see Santa in something different once in a while, and I liked the blue. I don't think I've ever, I think I've stitched Santa once maybe. I don't have a lot of Santa patterns, but I love all the woodland creatures and I love the blue Santa outfit. And there's a dimensions kit that needs to go into my thing of kits. This one's from Imaginating. It's called Winter. Queen of Obvious. Um, yeah, there's one for each set of three months for each season. And I think they're really cute. So um, I think I have a couple of those and they're from Imaginating. So Joan Elliott, the dragon and the fairy. I think I saw this one stitched up by um, Mama Bear Stitchery, Debbie. I, I'm, I know she did the Celestial Dragon, so I can't remember if I'm getting this one mixed up with the Celestial Dragon, but at any rate, they're both beautiful. I'm going to cut a lot of this so it may look a little choppy, but that's so that you don't hear me like throwing stuff and snack, you know, I'm like tossing it into piles, and so I'm going to probably cut a lot of that out. This is the first part of a Lizzie Kate Halloween. Um, design. Is it focusing? Yeah, Halloween rules. Uh, this is very popular. You've probably seen this a lot. And this is the first part of it that says wear a costume with candy. So again, I think Lizzie, I think that's my only Lizzie Kate so far.
And that's only part of it. This is only a fraction, literally, of the design. This is um, Northern Expressions Needlework, and it's called Celtic Snow. The picture doesn't really do it justice, but I haven't seen it stitched up, but I imagine it's stunning. Um, this was on Alara's channel, and she showed this, and it was one of those cases of, okay, it's here. I'm ordering it right now. Like, I literally paused the video and went and ordered it. <laughs> And honestly, I don't do that very often. Like, I'm definitely enabled, but usually it's kind of like, let me put this on my wish list type deal um, and get it later. And this one was like, nope, I need it right now. And I ordered the fabric for it, which is still coming. It hasn't arrived yet, so we shall see. That's part of an old cross stitch magazine. That's beading. That's Stephanie stuff. Yeah. Oh, there's a couple kits stuck in here. <laughs> so this one is... Um, Oh, I forget the English. It don't, it, let's see. I don't remember what it's called, but it's cute. <laughs> um, it's B2312 for anybody who's looking. Um, this is uh, a Moldovian company. Well, I mean, it's Luca S. What am I talking about? I have a number of Luca S, and I'm actually stitching one now, so they're great. I love them. So I thought that was really sweet. And when I purchased that, uh, my kids and I were actually reading a book about um, three little foxes, baby foxes. So I thought that was just really cool, beautiful. Um, and I know that my friend Amanda, again, at Lucky Chance Stitcher, she has this. And I know she had showed it last, was it last year or two, and said she was going to be starting it. And we talked about it, and I think starting it for Stitch Mania. And then we didn't talk about it anymore. So I'm not sure if you've started it, Amanda, if you're watching. Um, I don't remember seeing it again, but I don't know whatever happened with that. Again, this is one of the Dimensions kits that I purchased, but I didn't purchase, like, it's not the kit. It's just the pattern. Pattern only. And this is called Birch Point. Autumn time. Totally counts as pattern. This one is from Art of Design. She did the Chesapeake Bay Treasure. She has others out now, but I went ahead and got one right when it came out as a kit. And the fabric and the floss and needle, everything backing fabric. Isn't it adorable? With the anchors. So that's number one. And then I think she has a bird. Boy, I have to go look. I know I've like seen it and like passing, but I haven't looked real closely. But I'd love to have the whole series. Kesslin's Cross Stitch Fun. This was my favorite from Needlework Market last year, Nashville Needlework Market, and um, I really liked it. And I intended to start it right away again. I have the fabric. I have the floss. Um, I know Stitchin' Mommy, Sarah, and Colette, Highway Stitcher, um, they have both started this, and I know they've started working on the top border, so I need to get with it. They said I could join their little stitch along, but I haven't taken up on it yet, but I really like it. I got a Silks For You um, kind of 936 color equivalent that I thought I would like to do that in monotone monochromatic is that the right word this is another one of the dimensions kits that i purchased the pattern only called sleigh ride i don't see oh that's that goes with that other one aha <laughs> and enchanted aurora this one's actually kitted up from years ago i have everything for it including the fabric this is joan elliott but she's still in her plastic. So many beautiful designs, so little time. Okay, another Mill Hill Village um, building, town hardware. I'm still on the fence about whether to stitch these all up on one piece, like Amanda has done and Stephanie at Miss Oso oh Crafty because they look amazing and they look awesome. But now I'm playing around with doing them as separate finishes on, then finish them like on canvas or something so that I can like stand it up. 
and um, I don't know. We'll see. I've got obviously plenty of time to decide. Did I show this already? This is Victorian Home. Country Cottage Needleworks. That's October Cottage, which is just the picture, but the um, we do have the rest of the pattern um, somewhere. This is A Joyous Day by Blackbird Designs. The only Blackbird I have, I believe, so far. I purchased this because Jessie Marie Does Stuff was doing this as a start um, for Inauguration Day 2021. 20, yeah, whatever the last Inauguration Day was. <laughs> it's all a blur, but yeah, she was starting this, and I was like, yay, I'm going to start it. And again, I got it all kitted up and didn't start it. Silver Creek Samplers, um, seeing a sampler series. I hope they're doing more like this. This is um, Do Re Mi Part 1. And I've seen this stitched up a number of times. Um, Jesse at Bobo's Jesse Stitches has completed it. And um, Jan Hicks. I think she stitched it. I know she has a great color conversion on her blog, though, that I that I plan to do. So, Soda Stitch, love Soda Stitch. They're so sweet. They make me so happy. This is. Uh, I think I have most of the fairy tale ones. Um, this is Alice in Wonderland. Little Red Riding Hood. Hansel and Gretel. Aren't those cookies just so cool? I love those cookies. Cookies. Sorry, let me try to hold it like that. The Nutcracker. Cute little mice. Aladdin. The Snow Queen. Peter Pan. I love that sky. I think that's so cool looking. Snow White. The Little Prince, one of my very favorites, a little banged up. I have a few more somewhere. <laughs> this is why I've got to get them all organized together so that I've got them well together. Here's another one of the series from Imaginating the Seasons, Autumn. I like the font on those. This one I've had for quite a while. Um, it's an, the Halloween Afghan from Stony Creek. And I've had it forever and I just I'm like, I really want to stitch that, but like the whole idea of stitching this Afghan and getting everything lined up right was daunting me. Um, not to mention the fact that the Afghan to stitch it on is a hundred dollars. So, I mean, granted, you know, it's worth it, but I just hadn't like, you know, I hadn't gotten around to got, getting it, to buying it. I hadn't gotten around to getting it. <laughs> um, and I was like, I'm going to be the first. I hadn't seen it stitched up before. And I thought, oh, I'm going to be the first on Floss Tube to stitch this up. But nope. Uh, my friend Audrey has beaten me to it. She's doing an amazing job. Stitchy Witch 42. Hers looks great. She's just plugging right away, um, right along on it. Um, and she's working on this banner. So it's super cool. If you haven't seen her um, progress on that, go to her Instagram or to her floss tube and look for it because it's so cool. It's going to look great hanging up or whatever it is that she's going to do with it. Stony Creek, home of the month. I may um, destash these since I am now doing the country cottage or in theory I'm doing the country cottage home. So. Um, I'm not sure yet, but it's really cute. It's sweet. I love that kind of old style cross stitch 
Um, it just it makes me think of cross stitch, you know, from when I started. That's what most cross stitch looked like. Um, that's why I love Stony Creek for that reason. A lot of people I've heard Stony Creek uh, put down quite a bit on on some floss tubes that I've been watching, and I was kind of disappointed because I think they have a place. I think you know that they, yes, they look kind of older, um, but to me. They still definitely have, you know, their own niche and their own look, and I like them. I probably have, yeah, I have a lot of Stony Creek. This is another Glendon place called Plum Pudding. This is beautiful. I love this. Those purples that are charted in dinky dye silks. Part of the amazing dessert series. And speaking of Stony Creek. Here we come to winter in the village. I think I covered all four seasons now with the village. This is Stony Creek Let the Music Play, which I have shown before on my channel because I'm actually restarting this one. Let's see if we can see me on it. But um, I had to restart it because I had stitched most of it before and it just was it was not ideal for finishing. So um, it has this one in the book, this one with the clarinet, violin, treble clef with roses, and ballet slippers. Winter Fairy by Joan Elliott, which is showing not well. Let's see if I can pull the plastic. Um, yeah, Winter Fairy. Beautiful, my friend Heather Heather McLean at, um, on Instagram. She does videos, lots of tutorials, and beautiful stitching. She has completed her and has her framed, and she is gorgeous. No surprise, all Joan Elliott's are gorgeous. This is still in this bag. I think I'm going to take that. Well, I'll put it back in. This is Little Stitch Girl, Haunted Hill Road. This is my first Little Stitch girl but it won't be my last I think it's adorable trick-or-treat smell my feet <sighs> and the so I knew that I had this um, but I have a second of the winter sampler from Country Cottage Needleworks so um, I'm gonna do be doing that as a giveaway I actually got those on purpose to give do as a giveaway and then didn't do the giveaway so I will definitely be um, bringing that back out to do upcoming. This is a kit, actually, so I need to put that with my kits. It's, um, I don't know how you pronounce it, Oba. It's a European designer. Um, and I, Moraine Lake, I actually, um, Moraine Lake, I was unable to get this from Amy Loves Toads. She stitched this. Okay, this is going to be a new start very soon. If I can figure out my fabric. This is Lucy Beam stitches. Well, just Lucy Beam. Um, evaluation Center for Disturbed Women at Ward B. Need that up and framed. Love it. I got some fabric from Sunflower Fabrics, which is printed that I was going to use because I didn't feel like the fabric that is called for. It's a hand dyed um, piece that's on Etsy. I didn't feel like the current ones that are up there match this. They don't look like the same fabric to me. So I tried to order a printed one, but it's too dark. So I'm kind of back at square one. Maybe I'll order a piece of the called for fabric and see how it goes, see how it looks. But that's definitely going to start as soon as I can figure out what background to put it on. Here's some more sew to stitch courtesy of my dear friend Amber, again from Rogue Mama Stitches. She had, she had sent this to my daughter last year. The um, little cats and little panda bears in this book, The Scorn You series. I showed this around Christmas time. Here's some more of the fairy tales from Sew to Stitch. This is Thumbelina. Love that blue bird. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. 
can of Green Gables, one of my favorites. Cinderella. Sleeping Beauty. Wizard of Oz. The Little Mermaid. Um, I have to go in and look and see which ones I'm missing still from the series. I was trying to collect the whole fairy tale series from So to Stitch. I also have Rapunzel, which I've stitched before, but I'm not happy with the fabric that she's done on. Um, but she was finished. So I have Rapunzel and I also just pretty beat up and I have um, Pinocchio, which I don't think I showed there, but I know he's somewhere. Here's another Mira. This is, is this um, oh, Mermaids of the Deep Blue. Really popular one, seen this a lot. It's beautiful, love it. One of my favorite Mirabilias. And this is a Barbara Anna design to make a scissor fob from Nevermore. Both the Raven and Nevermore. I've had that for a long, long time and it's one of those projects I've just never gotten around to starting. And my last pattern that I have to show today is this Red Work Noel by Joan Elliott, published by Imagination. So pretty. Um, so that is it for most of my paper charts. I do have a couple of others <laughs> that are elsewhere. Um, but most of these are ones that I have not stitched, the exception, I think, of one or two that I have um, started. So that's it, guys. Thank you for joining me today while I sort through my piles and make new piles. Um, hopefully I can get these put away in the filing. Um, did I say file like a ton of times? Anyway, point taken, hopefully you know what I'm talking about. I want to show you really quickly what I started working on today. I really needed a new start. Um, but I just wanted to share with you, I started working on, if I can get it into the frame here, the modern folk embroidery uh, freebie that Jacob released for Ukraine. Um, it says peace in the Ukrainian language. So I was happy to, to get that and download it and to start that today. So hopefully I will have more progress to show. I will be back um, in probably a day or two, hopefully, with a regular floss tube update. And then sometime in March, I will be doing uh, my floss tube anniversary for seven years, and I will have giveaways to share. So be sure that you tune in for that. Please like, subscribe. I love to read your comments. Um, I appreciate you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye.